Hello, and welcome to your reading. I am High Priestess Lachan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com, as well as through the description box below. If you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, including details such as when you'll meet your partner, where you'll meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, your partner's sign, how to align yourself with the best, most fulfilling relationship with your future partner and more, you can book a future partner reading with me now through the description box below or again at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instant Go app. The link for that is instantgo.com slash powerlifehypnosis. Make sure to check out your moon, sun, and rising sun videos for all your messages. Like, share, and subscribe. Hello, Cancers. I am High Priestess Lachan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis. And this is your mid-August 2018 Love and Romance reading. Of course, if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. If you're interested in booking a future partner reading with me, you can also visit my website at powerlifehypnosis.com or you can check the description box below. This is the preview version of this reading and if you would like to view the full version of this reading with all of your guidance and messages, go ahead and check out my Vimeo page at the end of this preview, vimeo.com slash powerlifehypnosis or you can check the link of the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started on your reading. I hope that all of you are well and I have a fabulous reading in store for us. So. I have here three cards with the theme of our love lives during the ending portion of August. I have here a seven card spread, two five card spreads, an extended spread here week by week, what we're going to be experiencing in our love lives. I have, of course, our extended guidance as well as a pick a card reading at the end. So if you have any questions about your love life, we're going to go ahead and answer that then. So let's go ahead and get started on this reading. So regarding the theme of our love lives during the ending portion of august i have here again three cards the first card that i have here for us is express your love express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture i also have here the wedding card and this says this situation involves marriage and then I have here also the Ace of Air, which is also the Ace of Swords. Okay, so let me lay these out here. So taking these three cards together when it comes to the theme of our love lives during the ending portion of August, again, we're being called to express our love. We're being called to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And what I'm hearing is that we're being called to be open, be free, be loving with our hearts. I have here the wedding card again this situation involves marriage so this is going to be a very significant partnership here i'm feeling as though for many of us this is a past life connection as well this wedding card speaks of either somebody that we may be married to or this could be speaking of a marriage on the horizon for those of us who are not married or those of us who are seeking to marry somebody or seeking to uh, make a stronger commitment with somebody who's very important in our lives. And then I have this Ace of Air, the Ace of Swords card here, and this says brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. So what I'm taking from this is that there's going to be a situation where we may find clarity about something. Maybe something that we've been trying to find clarity about. Maybe there has been a lack of that. But during the ending portion of August, we will be able to attain that beautiful clarity that we seek. There may be some new ventures also maybe mental ventures so maybe there's a new mental connection formed with somebody that may also you know strengthen an emotional connection as well this could also be speaking of having some challenges in the past nevertheless there's something wonderful that will be a result of those challenges so this is the energy that i'm picking up regarding the theme of our love lives during the ending portion of 
August. So that is very, very wonderful for us. So again, if any of you are having some challenges in your love life, it looks like these challenges were not in vain and you should be reaping the rewards from those challenges, from making it through those challenges at this time. So let's go ahead and go into our seven card spread here. So All right, so many of us are in a situation where maybe there's a sense of cage love. So this cage love card says this love is an illusion, a trap, give this love wings to fly. So in the past, we may have been in a romantic connection where we felt as though maybe it was an illusion, you know, maybe things were not all as they seem. Maybe it was a trap. Maybe we needed to give the love wings to fly. So we needed to put distance in between us and another person in order to maintain our sanity, in order to maintain our self-love, our sense of self-worth, our sense of well-being. This cash love card doesn't necessarily mean an ending to a connection. It just means that there's freedom between the two. There's space between the two. So we can, you know, be okay for ourselves. So it looks like, again, many of us were in a situation where maybe there is somebody that we are very fond of or somebody in our heart or somebody who was in our heart. There once again was a separation or a split or distance put in between us and this person. This is a very special, very unique relationship that we're speaking of here. Very special, very unique relationship. This love bond, unique as it is, is once in a lifetime. And there looks like there is a sense of commitment here. So again, regardless of the space or regardless of the past here, there is a sense of commitment. So we have a very strong sense of commitment here. This can even be a spiritual marriage. So some of you, and I do see this coming up ahead, some of you are dealing with a twin flame. You're dealing with a divine mate. Okay. So again, there is a strong sense of commitment in this connection. And I can see here that there's going to be a possible reunion here. This is a foundation of this situation. The foundation here is a reunion. Second chances getting back together is possible now. So again, keep your heart open, just as we we're speaking of before. Keep your heart open, express your love, be willing to give and receive love and share love with others. So some of us could have been in a third party situation in the past. This could be the reason for this cage love energy that took place but many of us were in a third party situation where there was a third party energy in the form of family in the form of friends in the form of karmic partners or lovers um in the form of you know substance abuse in the form of anything another energy here disrupted this connection in the form of work family or distraction a person place or a thing here Nevertheless, we do have that reunion energy. So reconciliation, reconciliation of differences, reunions. And I have here something very, very beautiful because where there was this cage love, once again, you may be expecting or you may be not, not you may be expecting, expect. You may be receiving here a gift. A beautiful gift here expect expect rather a gesture or gift to reveal their true feelings so it looks like somebody is going to be revealing their true feelings here somebody is going to be coming forward so this could be a gift literally through the form of flowers i just got a message here and it says always remember your true source of love is god within your heart and soul so that may be a relevant message from one or two of you nevertheless again we have this gift here so this gift can be a physical gift the gift could even be flowers i have another card here with a bouquet on it so it could actually be flowers here or this gift could even be communication this gift can even be communication but i see here that somebody is going to be revealing their true feelings to you and it looks like the outcome of this situation will be a lustful relationship 
okay so there may be a lot of lust that is a result from this situation pure sexual chemistry sparks between you unleash the energy so there may be some uh physical connections going on here between you and this person okay so that is very beautiful that's a really good energy that we have going on there so i see that some of us could be dealing with some of us could be dealing with a fellow water sign, such as ourselves, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and this is Sun, Moon, or Rising. So some of us could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, some of us could be dealing with a fire sign, in particular, a Leo or a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising again. Um, some of us may be dealing with a Capricorn or even a Virgo. So we may be dealing with people under those astrological signs. Regarding the physical appearance of this person who we may be dealing with at this time, I do see that this is going to be somebody who is very, very attractive. Somebody who's very, very attractive because we have this bouquet card here. And when this bouquet card speaks of people or in general, this is a card of beauty. So this is somebody who can be very attractive, maybe very photogenic. You know, this person can have a very nice smile. If this is a woman, she may look, you know, exotic and beautiful. But this is somebody who, again, is very attractive. Sometimes when, it, when this is a case of women, often this can be somebody with lush hair. Yes, this is definitely somebody who's going to be very attractive. For some of you, for most of you, and please keep in mind, not every Cancer is dating the same person. So this may resonate with you all in different ways. Some of these details may resonate, some may not. You know, take what does, leave what doesn't. But I do see that many of you are dating somebody who has more of a paler skin tone, more of a lighter skin tone. For some of you, this could be somebody who's who has some curves on them. I am seeing somebody here who is very, very attractive here. Some of you are dealing with somebody who could be very empathetic, uh, like ourselves, also very intuitive. Maybe somebody who's very charming. I do see somebody here who can be very charming. Some of you are dealing with somebody who may have um, distinct eyes or maybe small or sharp eyes, you know, sharp eyes, perhaps a distinct voice as well. Um, this could be somebody who has some fine bones, you know, just has an appearance of having fine bones, uh, perhaps a distinct nose. Maybe this person is even a little hairy. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who appears healthy, you know, just somebody who appears very healthy or maybe into health. Um, this could be somebody who, for some of you, um, someone who's in their 30s or 40s, um, maybe this person has green or hazel eyes. And this could be somebody who has um, perhaps dark hair, perhaps dark hair, um, or on the darker side. Um, somebody who may have an angular look about them, an angular jaw, a chiseled look. Again, maybe um, deep set eyes or sharp eyes. The three different eye colors that I'm getting here are going to be either green, hazel, or if not that, dark eyes. So this is the physical description of what I have regarding who we could be dealing with during this time. Okay. Again, I'm seeing many of us could have been in third party situations, but I do see here a change in direction in this situation. Thank you for watching the preview of this reading. If you would like to view the full version of this reading now, please visit my Vimeo page at Vimeo dot com slash power life hypnosis or you can follow the link at the top of the description box below